In the midst of a global pandemic, our country has spiraled into chaos. America now accounts for a quarter of the world's cases, hospitals are overwhelmed, and our president has gone full evil. I think I was very unfairly treated. Nobody likes me. Luckily, I know a guy with all the answers that's also working on a vaccine. And you know he's legit because, I mean, look at him. When we last spoke in March, Dr. Hotez was pretty optimistic. This will pass. The key right now is practicing that social distancing. Never once dragging politics into this. Until now. We never had a national strategy. We need a president engaged. We need a White House engaged. The federal government couldn't manage this epidemic. They've got to fix this and stop screwing around. That's right. He's back with a vengeance and apparently only has one outfit like Batman. Doc Ho, I got to say, I'm loving this new Dr. Hotez. Yeah, I've sort of become a, a ninja Hotez here now that we're seeing uh, this uh, incredible decimation of low-income neighborhoods, Hispanic, African-American populations, Native American populations. And on top of that, we're placing school teachers at risk, nurses at risk. The government is unwilling to launch a federal response, and I won't have it. Yes, that's my ninja. You're on TV. You're talking to these people. There's going to be changes made left and right. Uh, well, you know, I, I do see some modest changes. Baby steps. Like what? Like what? What are the modest changes? The president uh, finally admitted that COVID-19 is a vicious illness. So you're telling me that the modest changes are that our president, after hundreds of thousands of deaths, finally recognizes that a deadly disease is deadly. Someone just coughed in my face and just covid me up. That's not really a good idea. Well, then you know what you got to do, doctor. Give me a little taste of that sweet little vaccine. The good news is there's going to be multiple vaccines. Yes. I'm sure that you've heard the Russians have a vaccine now. So what I worry about with the Russian uh, vaccine is I don't see how they did all those quality control, quality assurance, and safety steps and get it out uh, in such a rapid time frame. That's the part that worries me. You cannot keep taking me on these emotional roller coasters. Well, there are several uh, other vaccines that are showing promise, in, including the uh, AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine that's giving pretty good immune response. Say no more. I'll take that. I will take three boxes of the AstraZeneca Oxycontin, please. Well, you didn't pronounce it quite right. It's AstraZeneca Oxford. La Cienega Foxford. AstraZeneca. Okay, Oxford. okay, okay. Dr. Ho does whatever. Just give me your secret stash of Ascot Zendaya Ostrich Farm, please. Well, you're going to have to wait a bit. The vaccines won't be out till the middle of 2021. What kind of Avatar movie bullshit are you pulling? Stop pushing it back. Well, you know, we have to show that these vaccines actually work and that they're safe. And, and for that, we need big trials, up to 30,000 patients. Till then, we need people to pay attention to Hotez. The problem is, people don't listen to science and facts, but they do listen to people who lose their shit. Shut up! Do you XYZ? No wire hangers ever! Shut the f up! You gotta get mad, you gotta scare people to change. You're giving me like friendly, like inconvenienced koala teddy bear vibes. We need you looking like Hulk. We need you changing colors on screen. Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's I'm okay. Not sure Role play time. I ask, you answer. Dr. Peter Hotez, should we reopen schools? Uh, certainly not in areas where you have a lot of community transmission underway. It wouldn't be safe for uh, teachers or for bus drivers or for uh, the staff and, and for the parents. Okay, that was good. Like the information was there, but maybe um try something like this. Are you f***ing serious? Do you really think that these little monsters are going to be able to not eat each other's boogers? Five minutes into that classroom, they're sticking their fingers in their ears, and now everybody at the Chuck E. Cheese has frozen. That is in the community. That is in the entire country. Then the whole world has COVID, and the aliens are like, okay, now here's our chance. Have you considered trying something like that? that that's a very provocative response uh, and an approach. I, I'm not sure it really works with my style. But. You know I love your style. I copied your glasses. You're a style icon to me. 
It's just that we have to give you a look that communicates code red. You loosen the bow tie a little bit, rustle the collar, rustle the hair, and then also a little sprinkle of I'm back from the future to warn you about your fate before it's too late. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Get into the camera and tell the world what they need to do to get rid of COVID. And don't smile. You're too adorable when you smile. The whole nation needs to be in containment mode now. Okay, well, uh, back to plan B. Give me some of that hasta la vista box curd, please. You, you gotta wait till 2021. Until then, wear a mask, people.